Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today, Ms. Carol Dimas and I have a fun science experiment for you. We will be creating storms in a glass. The purpose of this experiment is to learn all about clouds and precipitation. For this experiment, you will need shaving cream, a large glass, a smaller glass or a container, water, food coloring, and a spoon. Before we get started, we are going to watch a short video that explains deeper about how clouds store that water and what happens when it gets too heavy. Let's look at the science of rain and how raindrops form. First, we'll need the sun. When the sun shines on water on the Earth's surface, the heat of the sun warms the water, turning it into an invisible gas called water vapor. This process, the changing of water into a gas, is called evaporation. Because gases are lighter than liquids, water vapor rises up into the sky. And the further you move up and away from the Earth's surface, the colder the temperature gets. So in the sky, the water vapor cools and changes back into tiny water droplets. This change is called condensation and is the opposite of evaporation. Clouds are made up of tiny water droplets. So when condensation occurs in the sky, clouds form and grow. Let's take a closer look. When water droplets bump into one another, they stick together and grow in size. They continue to grow until they are too heavy and fall as rain. They even grow as they bump into one another on their journey from the cloud to the ground. And every single raindrop that reaches the ground is made up of one million of the original tiny water droplets. Raindrops fall on the ground surface where the sun can shine on them and the whole process happens again. This is called the water cycle and keeps water moving from the ground to the sky, providing the water needed for plants, animals and people to survive. So now you know. All right, now that we've learned about what causes this precipitation from the cloud, now we're going to see and watch it be created. So we are going to go through the experiment step by step with you and then at the end we will share with you the directions so that you can do it on your own. So our first step is to fill a large glass halfway with water. So I have already done so. We will wait for Ms. Medeiros to fill hers. Our next step is to spray shaving cream on top of that water. Shaving cream is representing the clouds. You don't want to fill your glass all the way to the top of the shaving cream, but just a little bit below the top. All right, once you're done with that, your next step is to just flatten the top of the shaving cream. And also make sure that it is evenly spread out. Okay. You can almost just press down with that spoon and it'll just flow on the top for you. Once you are done with that, we're going to move to our next step. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take half a cup of water and pour it into that separate container. Once the water is in that container or glass, you are going to put 10 drops of food coloring. So 
So this colored water is what's going to represent the water that gets stored in the cloud. So once you are done mixing that around and your water is now colored, we're gonna to move to our next step, which is to start spooning the colored water into the center of your cloud. So this is going to show how the cloud will store the water. But once it gets too heavy, it will come out in some form of precipitation, whether it be snow, rain, or sleet. You can begin to already see that it's starting to seep through the shaving cream or the cloud. My cloud is storing lots of precipitation, Ms. Carrie Moss. Mine is too. I think it's because we used a lot of shaving cream, so we have a big cloud. That way it has more room to store the water. I agree. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't use as much shaver cream as we did. I know we could make a prediction as to how much water would be stored using less shaving cream. I like that idea. We could also try that out and compare. So if you're doing this at home, maybe you can do two different cups one making a smaller cloud and another making a larger cloud and counting how many spoon fills until you start to see precipitation. So mine has now fallen through because it's gotten too heavy in the cloud and we can see that the cloud has formed precipitation. We have a little visitor with us today. <laughs> and you can start to see Miss Medeiros is going, it's in the middle now. So we know it's gonna start to fall through very soon. My friend Zenny is helping me out with this experiment. <laughs> Got an assistant. He seems very intrigued. A very heavy cloud. Hey, your cloud must be much bigger than mine was because it's really storing a lot of water. Oh, there it goes. And there you have it. A storm in a glass. If you do give this a try. Please send us a picture or a video of your experience. And if you do try to do two separate clouds, one being bigger and one being smaller, please share with us your prediction and your results. We also will be posting the instructions and the materials needed to create this experiment um, attached to the YouTube link and also on Classroom Dojo. Have fun, see you next week.